All right, let's take a look at Chem 11, sample exam 2, number 10. This question gives us a reaction of three, two gases that produce a third gas. And it says that you're going to mix one mole of each of the reactant gases under the same condition. And the question is, what's the ratio of the volumes at the end? So what you want to do at the beginning is just kind of visualize what the question is asking. You have a couple of gases mixed together. And after the reaction, there's really two possibilities. So if you use up some gases, then there will be less gas compared to what you have at the beginning. The other possibility is you might make more gas than what you start with at the beginning. So we have to figure out which of these situations occurs. And then we have to compare the volume in the final state, which is either one of these two that's shown in this picture right here, compared to the volume initially of the gas. Now, because we're dealing with all gases, what we have to think about is what gases might be there at the beginning and what gases are there at the end. So initially we have N2 and H2. So we have to figure out the volume of the N2 and the volume of the H2. This is in the initial condition. In the final condition, what are we going to have? Well, we're going to definitely have the product NH3. That's a gas, right? And we're going to have whatever is left over from the reactant, which of course requires us to do some kind of limiting reactant calculation. And then so once we figure that out, whichever one is left over, we're going to add the NH3 plus the leftover gas volume, and that's going to be our final. Okay, so it actually is quite a bit of calculation we have to do. Um, and of course, what would be useful in this case is our ideal gas equation, which is PV equals NRT. And so if we want volume, it would require us to get NRT over P. All right, let's calculate volume initial first. We just said it's going to be the volume of N2 plus the volume of H2. Each one of them is going to be calculated using this expression, NRT over P. The volume in this case is changing due to how many particles you have, what we can do is just write this as N, N2, right, RT over P plus NH2, RT over P, which if we factor out the RT over P, it just becomes N of N2 plus N of H2. We were told there's one mole each, right? So it's basically two moles. Okay, so two moles times RT over P is our volume initial. So a lot of times students are worried that we don't have actual numbers to plug in, but because what we want to do at the end is we want to calculate a ratio final over initial you can see that these variables because they don't change they're just going to cancel out that's our volume initial for the volume final we have to figure out the nh3 the product and also which reactant is left over so let's do that both of those require us to figure out our limiting reactant so i'm going to write out my reaction n2 3h2 2nh3 and we were told that both of these are one mole the quick way to determine limiting reactant is we can divide each of these by its stoichiometric coefficients so 1N2 per reaction. And then this one is 3H2 per reaction. This one is going to give us one reaction. And then this one is going to give us one third of a reaction or 0.333 reaction. So H2 is our limiting reactant because it gives us fewer reaction. That tells us that N2 is the excess reactant. Okay, so now that we know the limiting reactant, we can then go ahead and calculate how much product we're going to get. So number of moles of product is just going to be one mole of H2 and then multiply that by the stoichiometric ratio between the product and the limiting reactant, which is 2 over 3. So we end up getting 2 thirds or 0.667 moles of NH3. The other gas is the leftover of the N2. So we have to first figure out how much N2 is used in reaction. So to do that, I'm going to take one mole of H2 and then I multiply that by the stoichiometric ratio 1 to 3. And that ends up being a third. So this 0.3 moles of N2 is the one that's used up, that means that the number of moles of N2 left over is what we start originally with, one mole, minus what we use. It ends up being 0.6667. That's our second number that makes up our final volume. So what we need to do is then add those two number of moles together and then multiply it by RT over P, right? Again, going back to this equation that we had earlier. So we would calculate our volume final being N of 
or number of moles of NH3 plus N2 that's left over, and then times RT over P. And this is just adding 0.667 with 0.667, and then RT over P, and that gives you 1.3 RT over P. This is our final volume. Remember, our initial volume was 2 times RT over P. So now we can calculate the actual answer that we're being asked, which is what is the ratio of the final volume to the initial volume? The final volume is 1.333 RT over P. The initial volume was 2 RT over P. These guys cancel out, and you just get 1.3 divided by 2, which is 0.667, or 2 over 3. A would be the correct answer in this case.